what's up? It's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness, and I just wanted to post a quick update on my uh, recovery post surgery. And in this video, I wanted to talk about fasting. So, as I've mentioned several times, I follow a regular intermittent fasting protocol, and uh, it's been serving me well. I just find it actually a really convenient way to eat in general. Not to mention the uh, health benefits. But for the next three days, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a full, full day fasting. So a complete fast. I'm not gonna be any, eating anything all the way through three days in a row. And I started that last night. <clears throat> so my last meal last night was uh, around 9 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today just water and uh, I had some uh, caffeine before my workout and uh, did a full body workout well upper body as best as I can but now introducing uh, some isometrics into my uh, workout for the for the left arm and I'll post a video on that coming up soon uh, you can check out my other video on uh, active range of motion it's how I recommend uh, <clears throat> following up from from an injury I'm not going down there that's a muddy mess just taking a little walk in between clients I have a few minutes and uh, I like to get out and get some exercise when I'm fasting during my fasted state getting a little light cardiovascular exercise and it's actually a little cool out but it's not bad sun's out it's nice so it's around six o'clock on the first day of my full day fasting and I'm going to carry this through like I said the plan is for three days I've only done this a couple of times in my life uh, I go for more than a one full day fast my plan this time I'm going to try something a little different on the third day I'm going to be doing a dry fast and that means no food or water and I've just been reading about some of the benefits of that, although you do want to be, you know, smart about that and uh, watch for how you feel when you're getting dehydrated and whatnot. But apparently all of the benefits of fasting, regular fasting, are greatly in increased or enhanced with a dry fast. Let me try to navigate this path here. If uh, you see this ca camera suddenly flip up in the air, you know I'm on my ass. <clears throat> um, so some of the benefits of fasting and intermittent fasting are, like I mentioned before, autophagy. And this is the uh, dying off or the killing off of uh, dead cells or weak cells in your body. Your body sort of basically eats itself in a very uh, determined way where uh, weaker, damaged, dying, diseased, dead cells get broken down and the tissue, their materials are used to, to generate new cells. So this has benefits for, for healing as well <clears throat> not only uh, that but the fastest state increases growth hormone production which is beneficial for healing as well and the fact that my my guts not working hard to process food that energy can be used towards healing now I didn't start this full day fasting until a couple weeks post surgery so I could get in a lot of the nutrients my body needed to jumpstart that healing process but I'm feeling good Decided to give this a try and I'm going to post my uh, results or my update at the end of each day like this for the next three days and let you know what my experience has been. <clears throat> Some other benefits of uh, fasting, full day fast included or a faster rate of fat loss. You get into ketosis pretty quick and your body's burning fat at a much faster rate during a dry fast apparently. Your body breaks down fat to release hydrogen and then combined with the oxygen you're breathing it produces its own h2o so you can actually your body actually produces a certain amount of water metabolically and uh, you can use this for the first initial period during a dry fast so it uh, increases uh, the rate of fat loss as a result as well <coughs> I know uh, talking about cleansing and detoxifying is sort of a trendy topic. I mean, your liver does a good job at that regardless. But fasting does help to detoxify your system to some extent as well. 
So this will be an interesting experiment. So far, I feel amazing. This is the first day. Um, I fasted all day overnight, obviously, and uh, and all through to today, and had a workout, and about 200 milligrams of caffeine before that workout. Feel good. Uh, actually, feel less hungry now than I did this morning, and uh, I'm looking forward to see how this goes for the next day, and I'll keep you updated. Hey, it's Josh, and it's day two of my fast. It's about seven o'clock at night, and uh, I was feeling pretty good this morning, and all of, day, all of the day yesterday, I was feeling great, actually. My focus was uh, better than it has been in a long time. My energy was great during my workout, and this morning, felt great waking up. Didn't feel hungry until about midday, uh, 12 or one o'clock. Um, it wasn't so much hunger, but I started uh, just craving food for the taste of it. I was watching my family eat, and there's just food all around me all the time, and that was, uh, yeah, it got pretty, pretty uh, tough. And then uh, in the afternoon, my energy started to drop, and it's been a long week uh, as well, and a full day of clients, a lot of uh, full days, a uh, full client load. Um, so I'm pretty tired. It's Friday. <clears throat> so... Um, and I had uh, just a little caffeine in the morning, so it's uh, definitely time to recaffeinate to get me through uh, the last few hours of the day. But uh, yeah, so I, I am noticing a little bit of the uh, a little bit of a drop in energy on the second day. Um, but I've been reading that sometimes that uh, when you get into ketosis and you get into the third day or the end of the second day. Uh, you'll sort of get a second wind, so to speak. You know, the fog will clear. So we'll see how that goes for tomorrow. Um, I am thinking I might cheat a little bit right now, and uh, instead of a coffee, I'll have a, a half scoop of uh, my pre-workout that has a little, a little bit of BCAs in it. So that is uh, sort of cheating on my fast with the with the B saws. But. Yeah, I have a couple more client programs to do for tonight, and I need to have my brain on. So uh, that's my update for day two. Um, looking forward to uh, to tomorrow, dry fast. So this will be the first time I've done that, and plan on making it through the whole day. Uh, and that'll be it. Um, I don't have any ambition to go past day three. So aside from that, my stomach's feeling fine. I'm not feeling any stomach upset. I uh, haven't had any uh, bowel movements today, we're going to wash them quite a bit, just still drinking a lot of water, but I am going to attempt to make it through at least the majority of the day dry fasted tomorrow. And I'll post another video then to let you know how it goes. Stay tuned. What's up? I'm still alive. Day three of my fast and today is a dry fast. That means no food or water and this is uh, the evening of the third day. So I was planning on originally going through uh, the full day until right through overnight on this uh, third day of the fast, but I'm gonna be tapping out at dinner time. Uh, so I'm gonna have a late dinner and I'm gonna have a little bit of food and, uh, and water and break the fast because uh, today I started getting a headache. Now it could be a tension headache since uh, my shoulder or my, my bicep surgery, my shoulder has been um, pretty stiff and I've obviously been using my right hand primarily and I've been getting some neck tension which has contributed to sometimes a little bit of a tension headache. Now that I'm finally able to move this arm and start getting into some more uh, strength training corrective exercises, that's been getting a lot better but uh, things are pulling a little more evenly. But I'm feeling like it's the dehydration that's uh, giving me a little headache. That being said, I do recognize uh, some of the benefits that fasting and dry fasting has. Um, I just don't want to deal with this discomfort and I know getting a little water in me would definitely help. Apparently though dry fasting like cures everything. So if you got parasites or you know you're fighting some sort of infection or anything like that just kills it. So um, I'm looking forward to the you know potentially experiencing the health benefits like that. Um, but primarily I'm doing this to help support the healing process. Growth hormone levels are high. Uh, all of my energy and reserves goes, goes towards injury recovery or recovering from the surgery uh, and uh, increasing fat loss. 
because my training intensity has been a little less lately, I've been in a, trying to work into a calorie deficit, but I wanted to fast track things. And uh, as far as that goes, I'm definitely seeing that I'm leaning out. Of a, it's just three days of not eating, obviously you're going to see some difference. Um, but as far as hunger, uh, today I feel less hungry than I did yesterday. So I feel pretty good, especially compared to yesterday. So the first day, no problem going for the full day fast. Yesterday, by the end of the day, I was getting the munchies. Today, no, no, no hunger at all so far. Uh, and also mental acuity, the alertness and awareness. I feel a lot more, a lot better energy today. And I didn't have any caffeine, no, no liquids at all, and no uh, pills or supplements or anything like that. Uh, but I did have a cold shower this morning and that's something I've been meaning to do every day and I've been doing it probably every other day, three, four days a week. And uh, I do find that if I can start the day with a cold shower, I'm definitely far more awake and alert and, and uh, it, does, it is a great way to start the day. I far less of a need for caffeine or stimulants when I start with a cold shower. And there are a lot of health benefits for that as well. So I'm wrapping this up. This has been an interesting experience, my first dry fast, and it's going to be most of the day through from when I hit the sack last night to now. It's going to be definitely at least a 24-hour dry fast. And uh, first time that I can remember doing three full days of fasting. So uh, I probably would introduce full day fast maybe two days here and there in the future in conjunction with my intermittent fasting I do regularly. Uh, I don't know if I'd do a dry fast unless there was some reason to uh, to kill an infection or something like that. Uh, I don't feel, I just physically, I just don't like feeling shitty all day. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. This has been my first dry fast experience and first three day fast experience. Uh, it was definitely an interesting experience for me. Um, and I will be sharing my progress on uh, training and nutrition going forward from here. I'm going to be following primarily a plant-based diet going forward, um, finishing off this fast. So I'll be uh, letting you know how I'm going to be making sure I'm getting enough protein and follow, getting all my micronutrients in on that diet and still make progress with my training and why I'm going to be doing that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, post them down below and I'll get right back to you. And until next time, stay strong.